I don't know. It looks fine to me. So this is a test stream. Um, I'm going to do some effect development, hopefully, um, if it's not too slow. Uh, right now I'm working on this effect called Radiance. Man, this seems super choppy. We'll keep going anyway. Um, anyway, the effect is controlled with your mouth. And you get kind of god rays emanating uh, from your face. Um, so I've already got that part working. Um, but I kind of wanted to improve the effect. Um, I was thinking it'd be cool if, so like the, the way the radiance effect works is it, it takes your silhouette and, and makes several layers in front. Um, and they're all scaled up and there's uh, some blending. So basically all of these scaled up layers are added together. Um, bear with me, this is, these are all new controls to me. Um, yeah, so they're all added together and then um, kind of toned back a little, uh, or a lot rather. Um, yeah, so what I want to do is I'm going to make the layers um, march forward in space. Because right now, the effect, it scales them all up uh, at the same time. But I want them to be kind of marching forward in space. Um, so I'm going to do that in the patch editor. <coughs> so, I thought about this a little bit, but not too much. Um, but I think, so I've got all these scales set. So, they go to an interval of 0.2. So I'm gonna have to animate a value from zero to 0.2 um, in a linear fashion um, so that it, it has the appearance of like uh, kind of an infinite effect because when it goes back to zero, it will be at the starting position. Um, so the way I'm gonna do that is with Oof, geez. Yeah, this is a this is new, new Spark AR. They totally changed the interface and, and a lot of the controls. So it's a little slow for me to get around in it right now, but I'll figure it out. Um, what do I want? Time. Runtime. That's the one. Um, so runtime is just a a constant ticker um, that counts up from zero. Um, from the time the effect started. Um, and then, so I don't, I, I only need a value of 0.2. So it goes from zero to 0.2. So I'm gonna make a, a modulo, and this is a, a math operator um, that just gets the remainder when two values are, are divided, but it's, it's good for keeping a value within a certain range. Um, so I'm going to do modulo uh, 0.2. Yes. So cam modulo 0.2. So then you can see the, the time is, is counting up. And if I restart the effect, let's say go back to zero. Um, so the, the effect of modulo is that it will only go from zero to point 0.2, because that will always be the remainder of the division. Um, but, what do I need to do here? Um, so we need to slow it down. So to slow it down, we're, we're just gonna divide. Oh, I'll do multiply. 
because it's faster than dividing in general. So runtime, we're gonna multiply that and pass it back through to the modulo. Um, so we'll try like 0 0.01 to start. I have no idea if that's gonna be right. Yeah, so it looks like it's it's going a little slow. Maybe it's a five. Uh, okay, point zero three. There we go. That looks good. So the output of this patch needs to get added to the scale. Okay, so that's just gonna be a lot of add nodes, which is fine, I guess. So instead of having the base number live here, it's just going to live in this add patch. So add and then pass that into scale. Okay, come on. Why is it? Point three. Um, point two. What? Maybe this just isn't displaying correctly. I don't know. So if you haven't figured this out, this is like a working section. Um, I don't even know if the audio is working. It seems like it is, um, but I'm not totally sure. So let's see if I can. I don't even know if the audio is cool. working. It seems like it is. All right. Um, yeah, frame rate could be a lot better, but maybe I just need to get uh, a faster computer. Something. Okay, so. Right now it's kind of hard to see like what's actually going on. So instead, let's see. This is the material. Wait a minute. Okay, now I, I don't remember how this works. So the brightness is there, but Yeah, if this was a blend mode, it'd be way easier to change it, but it is not. Um, okay, so I, here's the base brightness. So I'm just gonna put this at like one, maybe. Let's see. Man, it is like impossible to tell what's happening with this uh, frame rate. It's pretty awful. Um, so that should be animating the scale. So another problem is that like the, the light behind me is is making my camera overexpose. Um, so webcam settings. Yeah, so I already have some settings on there for light painting actually, so it's super dark. But um, let's see. No, no. Um, yeah, so this is just locking in the exposure so it doesn't do automatic adjustments based on the light. Uh, 
Cool. So what was Drew's brightness? So I'm going to leave myself a note that it should be 0.4 because I'm just going to crank it up. Okay, so maybe I'll check my math on this modulo V. Okay, so add 1.2 and then, yeah, there's no way this would ever be lower than 0.2. Whoa. What just happened? Oh, I went into scale up somehow. Um, so yeah, then I just need to make a bunch more of these guys for each layer and connect them. But like, to be honest, this would be way easier to do in script, I think, but I don't know. I'm just trying to learn about the node graph. Um, this is a little bit easier to package uh, stuff and share it with people. Or scripts, you have to like have things named in a particular way or like particular hierarchy, but um, the, the patch editor makes it easier because you can like make groups like I made the scale up group um, and then you can you can actually create a an exported exportable file from it. Oh, yeah, I have a mouse. I can use that. It's much easier. So I'm just going to move all these to make room for the addition nodes. I can not move this. New stuff. Um, okay, I'll just do that. Yes, I'm on. I'm on a pretty fast machine, but. I guess this new Spark version takes up uh, quite a bit of resources. Oops, is that right? Yeah, 2.2 and this frame rate is killing me this usually is a much faster process I mean it's kind of manual labor but still So, I don't know, maybe you can watch this video on like a 2x or something. <laughs> Get a better frame rate that way. Uh, 
Okay, finally. Um, is it working though? Doesn't appear to be. Oh yeah, yeah okay. So you can see the layers are moving forward. God, it's really hard to tell the frame rate. Yeah, they're they're going pretty slow. So where's that number? Modulo spaghetti over here. Um, so multiply by. So we want it to go faster. So. Five. Let's speed it up to twice that. Maybe even twice that. I'm gonna have to test this like off the stream, but if I go to the side, no. Yeah, so uh, the when it restarts the first layer and the last layer are going to snap back into their starting positions, but I think that's fine. Um, like if I really wanted to, to make it smooth, I could um, I could do some kind of like fade based on the modulo. Yeah, but maybe I'll I'll do that some other time. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much all I wanted to do for today. Um, so I'm just gonna put this back to point four. much more radiant looking now. So that's, that's nice. Um, so I don't know if, if I have time tomorrow, I will do another stream and I will make some audio effects. So I think in general, this will be kind of like an Easter egg because like not everybody records. Wait a minute. I don't think that's what I want. Oh, cool. They put everything into sections. How organized. Um, so I probably want some reverb um, to make it sound like I'm in a super big room, um, like godlike sound. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to play with that tomorrow.